I have a problem. My dog barks. So I go to the internet to find a solution. I call up a search engine and enter a few words that I think describe my problem and wait half a second for the results. Then I look through them to see if there's anything that actually solves my problem. If there's nothing on the first few pages, I'll enter some different search terms and try again. If I see something that I think will show me how to stop my dog from barking, I click through to the site to see if it really is what I'm looking for. You probably do the same thing a dozen times a day to solve problems of your own. And so do a billion and a half other people around the world every day. They're actively looking for an answer or a solution. And that's what makes internet marketing a completely different animal from regular marketing. If you understand how the search engines that drive the internet work, you'll use that knowledge everywhere in your online business. Now let's take a look at exactly what's different about the internet. Offline, if you want to reach your market, you buy an ad, you make a commercial, you do public relations, and you try and get your product into stores that carry that sort of thing. Then you hope that your message will reach at least a few people who have the problem that your product solves. Offline marketing is solution-seeking people. Online marketing is the opposite. It's people seeking solutions. And that's what makes the internet the best place to build a business. You can find out exactly what problems people are trying to solve and then supply a solution. The search engines are what make it possible, and I'll show you how. Those search terms you type into the search bar to try to solve your problem are called keywords. And every time you enter a keyword phrase, the search engine looks for websites that contain those same words, or very similar ones. And that's how the search engines deliver results that are likely to be relevant. Now you might wonder how the search engines know what sites out there would match your request. Well, they index them. The search engines send out programs called spiders that crawl the internet following links from page to page and site to site. Their job is to record the words on the pages that they land on. Then they send that back to the search engine's giant database for indexing. So when you type a keyword into the search bar, the search engine goes to its index and finds all the sites with matching keywords. Then it applies a mathematical formula to determine which web pages are most likely to contain the information that the searcher is looking for. First and foremost in that calculation is the words that are used on the page and how they're used. Do the words show up often on the page? Are they in context? Are there synonyms and other words on the same subject? Are the words in prominent places like headlines or maybe the address of the page? And that's how from billions and billions of web pages, the search engines can point you to a website that might hold the solution to your problem. What you might not know is that the search engines also record all of the keywords that people type in. All those problems that people are trying to solve. All the words they're using to try to solve them. They're all waiting to be analyzed and there's some great tools out there that do just that. So in these videos, I'll show you how to do keyword research to find out whether there's already a demand before you take all the risks of starting a business. Once you know there's a demand, then you can supply it. You will look for a group of people searching on the internet for a solution to the same problem and not finding many relevant results. That's a niche market that you can serve. The internet is the only place where you can do market research that is so incredibly detailed and so complete that you can know you have a hungry market before you spend a single cent. Even if you have no clue of what to sell or what markets are out there. And if you've already got a product or service you're selling, then this research will help you find new customers. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that people make when starting an online business is going after a big saturated market. Oh, there's millions of dog owners out there, so I'll sell information on dog training and stuff. Try typing something like dog training into your favorite search engine and look at the number of results. There are millions of listings. And we know that most of these searchers never look past the first page of the results. So what are your chances of competing in that saturated market? A tiny slice of a big pie is not the way to go on the internet. Even with a tiny slice, there's still too much competition and it's too well established. You want to go for a big slice of a small pie. A niche market is a small group of people looking for a solution to a very specific problem. Now, it could still be dog related, but unless you narrow it down, you're going to be swamped with competition. Now, here's something related. How to train a border collie to do tricks. 
you can look at that keyword phrase and know exactly what the person is after. This means that you can create something that solves their problem and there's a decent chance that they'll buy it. Now, take a look at how many other sites show up in the search results for that keyword. Your site's got a far better chance of showing up in the front page where people trying to solve that problem will actually see it. So remember, there's two things you're looking for in a niche market. It's tightly focused on a small set of related problems, and it may have some competition, but not so much that you can't hope to compete. Don't worry about by going for a small market that you're restricting yourself. On the internet, you can reach anyone, anywhere. So a business that would never survive in a local mall can not only survive, but it can make tons of money serving a niche market that's spread all over the globe. Here are some other examples. Pet ferret supplies, unicycles, supplies for making your own fireworks, software and information for Spanish-speaking architects, all very successful businesses because they know exactly who their market is and how to serve it. And that's how the search engines work and how you can find the targeted customers that you want in a nutshell. Up next, using search engines and keywords to build a business that you are passionate about.